Hi there, I'm Curtis, and what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to repair the diaphragm in this pump. What we want to do is a lot of times if you don't take good care of it, you leave it out, it freezes, or if you happen to, I don't know, suck something and you weren't expecting, maybe using it for things other than seed treatment, um, this is likely what's going to go in this pump. This is just a simple electric motor that spins um, this diaphragm. So this is more likely if your pump is running but it's not pumping, um, you have trouble getting it to prime or essentially the pump part of the pump, um, this is what you'll change. So obviously you don't need to use a nut driver but I've got one here just for the essence of time. So I've left all of this on. If you happen to have these off already, it actually is a little easier, but I thought in the essence of trying not to make too much of a mess uh, in the field, I'd show you how to do it without. So this just gently lifts off. We'll just set this over here. Now, in here, what I wanna show you is there's a spring and this little white thing. Uh, this, all can this all can come out. So my advice is don't touch it at all. Just be cautious. So if you're doing this out in the field, you don't go drop it uh, or lose this. Without this, um, you've lost the safety switch of the pump, the, this internal shutoff switch. So we'll set this out of the way. Okay, so now what we've got here is the pump portion of it or the diaphragm. So we're pretty lucky. This one's all clean, so we're not we're not into anything messy yet. If you had an actual one that was being used to treat seed, you'd still be good now. There wouldn't be any seed treatment. But the moment you loosen this, you're going to get into the pump portion of it or the the diaphragm portion. So there will be seed treatment here. So make sure you're wearing proper gloves, proper protection, depending on what seed treatment you're using. So in this hole is a very simple Phillips screw just pull that out and remove the diaphragm so this is junk it's garbage um, sometimes you'll see it's I've seen everything from a fly stuck in these fins to the filings from our mixers all kinds of certain things um, we don't have a, a filter so that you don't worry about leaking air so these can go if it happens to give you trouble in the first year, contact your Bayer rep and our seed growth professionals will help you out. The warranty is off after one year with the You Can Too. So if it happens to be two, three years down the road, uh, call Pattison's in Lemberg. And this is what you're looking for. So this is all you need. There's instructions in here on how to, do, how to get at it. So rather than open this one up, I'm just going to show you. So you take this back. You see this side here lines up with this here. Place it on. And I would recommend, because this is all just plastic, do not use a nut driver when you're tightening. And you'll feel that snug up. Now, if you look in here, you'll kind of see a flat spot on the shaft. It's hard to probably see from there, but what you want to do is we'll bring this back up. This white part here, I'll show you that. This white part here kind of only goes one way. It lines up in that orientation so it can push that red button. So you want to make sure it's sitting like that. If you don't have that lined up, it won't go on and you'll know something's not right. So you're just slowly going to spin inside to try to line up the flat spot of the shaft 
and it takes a little bit of finessing. You'll see it's there. And then it pops on. Put the four screws back in. And tighten them up. It's, again, we're very fortunate this is a clean one so there's no mess or no muck, but it's a, it's a very cost effective way to essentially create yourself a brand new pump. Uh, and like I said, the most common issue is there hasn't been proper storage or whatever and they freeze or they give you trouble. So if you're having trouble with your pump running, but it's not pumping, it's likely your diaphragm. So today we've gone through a number of troubleshooting and part of that you're gonna, you may need some parts or some replacement parts. So if you need, if it's something as simple as you break a pump, the, this top cap on the pump or you need a diaphragm replacement or even something as simple as the switch, feel free to contact Pattisons, expect the best. It's why we chose them to build and assemble our UCAN 2s. They do top quality work, they're local and they're based in Lemberg, Saskatchewan. Their busy season is May when your busy season is. They're available to answer the phone and ship you any parts that you need. So thank you. Hopefully we've solved all your problems today. And if you have any other questions, feel free to contact your local Bayer rep or your Seagrove specialist.